What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a Tyranitar, Extral, and Okie Dogie team that is taking over the meta right now. So as you guys know, T-Tar Extra, one of my favorite combos of all time ever since Sword and Shield, and even previously before that, Extra and T-Tar always thrive together due to Sandstream and Sandmush. But like I said, we're pairing it up with Okie Dogie today because this team has been all over the rank ladder, and I want to showcase it for a decent amount of time now. Now T-Tar is over here, rocking Sandstream ability alongside with the Choice Fan Ends item, making a hit super, super hard. It's got the best terror type for it, which is Flying, with Rock Slide, Knock Off, Terror Blast, and Low Kick. Now, extra right next to him doubles its speed in the sandstorm, which is why they pair up so well. Has Focus Sash as item, alongside with the Stellar Terror type. It's got Iron Head, High Horsepower, EQ, and Protect. So you can pair up extra next to any of these flying types on the team and freely EQ. So speaking of flying types, you got Salamence, Corviknight, and even Flying Terror Titar. So EQ is going to work wonderful alongside those Pokemon. Okie Dogie's over here, racking Guard Dog as its ability, a great ability to kind of counter intimidate users such as Incineroar. Okie Dogie has the Assault Vest, making it a bit more bulkier on the uh, special defensive side. Then it has Gunk Shot, Drain Punch, Knock Off, and Upper Hand. Very solid moveset. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon in today's video. Our final three Pokemon are going to be Salamence, Corviknight, and Amoongus. Salamence is great on the special attacking side and for setting up Tailwind for the squad. Corv Knights over here rocking Brave Bird, U turn, Roost, and Taunt. A really bulky Pokemon that can counter certain Pokemon with its ability Mirror Armor. And last but not least, we got Amoongus. Amoongus, great support. You guys seen Amoongus plenty of times. Has Regenerator, Citrus Berry with Palm Puff, Clear Smog, Rage Powder, and Spore to put Pokemon to sleep. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match using this Tyranitar, Exigil, and Okie Dogie team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against an Iron Crown and NTD team, alongside with Whimsicott, Ogre Pond, Fluttermane, and Urshifu. So definitely their Whimsicott is rocking Sunny Day, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that Pokemon get led here. Pop Tailwind, it can pop Sunny Day, it can really get after it that way. But other Pokemon that I am kind of worried about is going to be the Iron Crown NTD. We know that we don't have terrain control, and that can really start getting after us, right? We do not like that, but who should we lead here? We could go Salamence here, potentially try to master Tailwind Energy, which is not a bad play. And I think I am going to end up leading this Pokemon, so I'm going to go Salamence here for a lead. And on top of that, do I go Okie Dokie, or do I go in with maybe like Extra Drill, or even just straight up T-Tar, because Sandstorm is going to work wonders. I think we bring T-Tar in the back end, and we lead a Pokemon maybe like Okie Dokie here. Okie Dogie could be solid, just getting back HP here, knocking off items in the first couple turns. I like it. And then we'll bring T-Tar and Extra in the back end. I think that's solid. I think that's definitely solid for us. So that's going to be our lead here. I believe they're going to lead Whimscott. So we're just going to pop Tailwind, try to match their Tailwind energy. And yeah, we can go from there. If they do lead Psy Spam, then I'm trying to think of ways we can kind of get around that. We might just want to go for maybe like, I don't even know, Knockoff could work well. Do some big time damage onto those Psychic Pokemon. But I definitely would want to set up a Tailwind at that point. So let's see who they're going to lead here. Let's see. And they're going to go neither of the two. They're going to go Ogre Pond alongside with Water Urshfu or is that Dark Urshfu? No, it's Water Urshfu. So Water Urshfu comes out here alongside with Ogre Pond. This Intimidate is actually going to work wonders here. Two physical attackers. We like that a lot. Now I can pop a Tailwind. And I think I am just going to straight up pop a Tailwind. And on top of that, we could just throw a Gunk Shot into this slot. I think if we land his gunk shot, he's dead. 80 accuracy, very risky play here, but we're gonna drop it here. We are gonna drop it here. I think I'm down. I think I'm down. Yeah, we're gonna throw it over here. We are tossing over here. Hopefully no Terra. Hopefully he just stays there, stays put, and we can land a gunk shot. It is 80 accuracy, and he's gonna spike his shield here. Spike his shield, we don't like, and we'll see how he wants to play this one. U-turn's gonna pivot out here, and we get off this tail one, which is good. So, at least we know what Pokemon he has. He is going to take some Rocky Helmet damage. And that U-turn kind of lets me know that he is probably Choice Scarf. Which is nice to know. Which is lovely to know. So, they're going to throw out their third Pokemon, which is going to be Iron Crown. And this is where things kind of get annoying. Because Iron Crown is annoying. It's going to boost their energy up in Special Attack. Yeah, Ogre Pond, who's minus one. And I believe they're just going to swap Ogre Pond at this point, right? I believe most likely a swap of Ogre Pond would be the play into Indeed. Just so it can start getting off its little like side spam stuff. And I think from here, 
We could straight up air slash. We could go for Draco Meteor. I mean, nothing crazy is going to happen up against that. We might want to swap Salamence. And maybe just start taking Weather. Or go into like a Dark type, such as Titar. Into the Okie Dogie slot. Could be a little bit better here. I could maybe go for a double swap. Double swap wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad because Okie Dogie just dies out pretty easily here. But to be honest, I think I'm just going to go here, swap Salamence into Titar. And then just terrasalize you and just start throwing knockoffs left and right. So that's going to be my play here. I'm going to swap Salamence out here. I believe them to be swapping Ogre Pond. That's going to be my read. And if not, Ogre Pond is low by Intimidate. So that's fine by me if you want to keep him on the field. But yeah, I read that all day. Indeed, he's going to get the swap. He's going to want to go for size spam here. And Okie Dogie is going to terrasalize, which actually, I don't even know how good it does here. I don't know how good it does. Let's be honest here. Even with this terror type. With this terror type, it still might die out here. But if it does die out here, then we can just bring out extra. And we have speed. We have Tailwind. We'll have Sand Rush. We can start ripping. We can start ripping rather well. But we got our T-Tar out here. Nice little dark type Pokemon. Able to dodge the size ban. And we're hoping Okie Dogie can't do it. But Knockoff's going to come out here first. Doing big time damage. Half an Iron Crown. And there's the Expanding Force. Okay, so good reads for us. I don't know how this terror type's going to help us out here. But let's see. It is going to help us out. The Soul Fest clutching up. Lovely. Yeah, because we didn't terrasalize that, we die out all day. We're poison and fighting four times a week to that. Now we're sitting in a relatively decent spot here, right? Pretty solid spot. Not going to lie. I mean, you do have the steel move, which could get annoying. But I think we just double down with knockoff here. We go knockoff into this slot and knockoff into that slot. I think that's our best bet. Double knockoff, even though follow me potentially comes out here. Then he can even go for a Tachyon Cutter or another Expanded Force. Either way, one of my Pokemon should be staying on the field here, which is huge. Which is huge. And once one dies, we get to bring out Excadrill. Love me some Excadrill. Protect comes out from the Iron Crown. No big deal. That's why we kind of put one and one here. And he's trying to waste off the Tailwind. So Okie Dogie's going to go for Knockoff. And I probably should have used Knockoff with T-Tar there. Probably would have been a little bit better. Because that would have KO'd the Indeedee. Yeah, I should have switched them. That's all me. I should have kept Okie Dogie's knockoff into the Iron Crown and vice versa. But they're going to end up going for a Trick Room here. And once our Tailwind ends, honestly, ooh, Trick Room's kind of rough. Trick Room is kind of rough. I'm choosing a knockoff. How many turns left in Tailwind? One. I cannot protect here, which kind of sucks. It does kind of suck. But I'm going to go for knockoff there. And I guess I'll just go for knockoff there. This is tough. Trick Room's very annoying here. Very annoying. I guess for helping hand. And what are you going for here? Are you going for Tachyon Cutter? I'm very curious. We're out speeding anyway. Thank you very much. Get it on out of here. <laughs> so that's a big turn for us. That's a really big turn for us. So I can swap a Pokemon and Intimidate if I want to too. Because we're going to be right back at square one where they have Ogre Pond and Urshifu on the field. And now we have Salamence in the back end, which is good. The beautiful our tailwind's gonna end our pokemon are actually gonna be slower at this point and we might just want to swap t-tar let's be honest we might just want to swap t-tar here we might just want to swap t-tar because i'd rather i'd rather switch t-tar's choice move here let's be honest here i'd rather switch t-tar's choice move so urshifu comes out here alongside with you and you are you're definitely choice you're definitely choice scarf he's definitely choice scarf and from here yeah i'm just gonna swap salamence I'd rather choice into like a rock slide or something. Be a little bit better for us. And we're going to go into Intimidate. And then if we can land a Gunk Shot, I would love to land a Gunk Shot. So I'm going to go for it. <laughs> so I'm going to go for it. We're going for a Gunk Shot. I probably should have actually just attacked like Urshifu or something. Because they still have Terra. And Terra would most likely go into this Ogre Pond slot here. But still, we're going for the Gunk Shot. We're looking for big time KOs, big time damage. You guys know the deal on this channel. We go for damage. Damage, damage, damage. So, Okie Dogie's actually playing really good here. Trick Room is kind of and right now. I mean, it kind of helps us, but then it kind of doesn't because, like, Exedrill could have easily just, like, sweep the rest of this matchup with some big time EQs. But now we have to play it a little bit differently. So, we popped the Intimidate on two physical attackers. Are we going to see a Terra? We don't. We just see a normal Spiky Shield here. So, Spiky Shield's going to fly. And. It's gonna, we're going to go for a gunk shot. It's going to get blocked. And I wonder what you're going for. I'm kind of hoping you're just going for Surgeon Strikes into the T-Tar slot. Could be pretty good. And now you're just going to take out Okie Dogie, which is no big deal. Because now I get to bring back out T-Tar in the Trick Room. 
And we really get to thrive with that, right? Rock slide we can choice into, which is great. And we can just go for air slash. Because now, with rock slide, I can really pose that threat onto Ogre Pond Terrasalize. And so if Ogre Pond Terrasalize, rock slide then becomes super effective. I could double down into it in air slash as well, in case it doesn't. And that might be my play. That might be my play, because I do have Focus Ash with x in the back end, which is pretty good. So I think I am just going to double down into this thing, considering it just, um, it just Spiky Shield. So I think that's going to be my play. If it Terrasalizes, Rock Slide becomes super effective. If it doesn't, Air Slash stays super effective. So this is a good move by us. Plus it's just Spiky Shield, so it's not going to double down. So it's Terrasalizing, and it's going to go into the Urshifu. So Urshifu is going to get the Water Terror. Yep, the Water Terror is going to pop out here. Like I said, we still have... We still have extra deal with the focus ash, which is good. So if we can just start chunking up some damage, it's going to be great for us. So Rock Side's going to connect here. Just KO the Ogre Pond, and that's straight up super effective. So that's good. Actually, I thought the Grass type would neutralize it, but now that just makes it game. So them setting up Trick Room actually helps us out, but we had it covered either way. Whether they set up the Trick Room or didn't set up the Trick Room, we were going to win that match regardless. What a great match for us in match number one, using T-Tar, Okie Doge, and having Extra Drill there. We didn't use Extra Drill, but still, Extra Drill, absolutely amazing. But we're going up against an Explosion Golem team, possibly, right? Anytime I see Golem, I think of Explosion. And that is kind of what I think is going to happen here. I think they're going to lead Indoor Tatsugiri alongside with Explosion Golem, right? That makes sense. And then they're going to endure Tatsugiri, explode with Golem, bring out Dondozo, have the Toxic Orb on Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri then dies in Dondozo's mouth. Then Flamigo comes out here, and then they have the stat boost all day. Makes sense, right? Hopefully you guys caught on to that. Hopefully you guys understood what I'm saying. But it made sense in my head. So from here, I think we just need to go into Pokemon that can protect, right? We need to be able to go into Pokemon that can protect right here. And to be honest, we're going to need this thing too this amoongus with the poison terror type because it has clear smog it can do away with those stuff so we need to go into two pokemon that can protect one could be extra drill right extra drill, you have protect um i think corviknight might have protect it does not which actually sucks but i don't mind it it has roost so i'm gonna go extra drill and you and not oogie doogie and corviknight oh no what i just do no we're good we're, good. we're gonna withdraw we have a couple seconds left to pick and then we're just gonna bring t-tar late game and hit okay okay this should be fine not a lot of my pokemon have protect so we went in the quiver Knight instead but yeah i believe this to be just golem exploding with indoor tad security it's kind of like i've seen this before i've seen this before so if they lead both we're just gonna protect extra drill we're just gonna maybe roost with with uh Corvin Knight, and that's exactly who they need that's exactly who they need all right cool that's fine by me. So they're going to endure. We're just going to protect here. Place one safe. Um, Do we U-turn out here? No, because we outspeed that golem. We outspeed that golem. We're just going to roost. I mean, roost is a safe play. Roost is just a safe play. So we're just going to roost here. A little bit of roost here. A little bit of roost. This has got to be indoor explosion, right? No, it, it's not. But luckily, we are mirror armor. Are you still exploding? I wonder. Maybe you're like focus sash. And exploding. Let's see. What do you got cooking here? I'm confused. You endure this next turn? That could be rather smart. We have Focus Ash, which is good. And no, you just set up a Stealth Rocks. Hmm. I guess we'll double down on this thing. In case it wants to explode here. It's getting odd. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. Are you enduring here? Hatsugiri's gonna get the terror type here. It's gonna go straight water. Okay. But this is not indoor explosion? You're confusing me here. You are confusing me. EQ's gonna fly here freely. Which is lovely. Should be super effective onto the golem. Big time damage. Can Brave Bird finish you off, please? And thank you. That's what I'm really hoping here. I know it's not very effective, but it does finish him off. 
huge. So you, you're gone. We don't have to worry about explosion right now. And what do you go for now? That's the real question. A muddy water. Okay. So I do have focus hatch, which is beautiful. It's lovely. And Corvo is able to eat up, and it still has a wiki berry. All right. So I, 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 I don't understand that. I think, I think their whole plan was like, maybe to think, make me think that they're going for indoor explosion. And they just never did it. So I think now they go into Don Dozer, right? Yeah. And we could swap into Amoogus, which is not a bad play for us. And do I do that? I think I'm just going to roost here. Try to bring out Amoogus and just take away the stat changes. Yeah, we got Citrus Berry. Um... Do we taunt it? No, we're just gonna roost. We're just gonna roost. We're just gonna get back some HP. Just get back some HP, play this one slow, allow Amoongus to come onto the field and hopefully land a clear spot. Because if this is if we can get rid of the stat changes, that's massive for us. Because eventually Tatsuki is gonna die out through the poison. He's going for a wave crash into Corvo, right? Corvo dies, but still, I don't I don't mind that. I don't mind that. We have to go into a Pokemon that can protect. That is going to be our uh That is going to be our extra drill. And we'll go from there. So we just have to land a clear spot. It might protect this turn. You never know. It might, it might go for clear spot. So we bring out extra drill. And we just kill our extra drill. I don't know what I was thinking. I just seen the self rocks. But either way, anytime we brought out extra drill, it was dead. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. And honestly, dude, we lost this match now. We definitely lost this match. Unless Cheetar can eat up a shot. We don't have protect. Yo, that stealth rock's doing us dirty, man. That stealth rock's doing us dirty. But I'm just going to go for clear smog here. Try to look to get rid of the stat changes. And if I can, I'd rather Thrasilize and just go for choice into a rock slide. Chances are they have Flamigo in the back end. Let's see how this one plays, man. Stealth rock's actually kind of doing us dirty. Stealth rock's actually doing us dirty. See, I wish I had protect on Corviknight. I would just protect Corviknight in that turn. It would have actually kept everything beautiful, but Stealth Rocks are actually really big against us right now. So we Terrasilize. He's going to go for an order up into you. You should soak that. Beautiful. I have the Citrus Berry. Now we actually have a fighting chance at this match. Titar looking to get after it. Titar looking to get after it because Clear Smog is actually going to help us out. Rock Slide is going to connect. It kind of sucks that Rock Slide did go first. And we are going to Clear Smog. Beautiful. Stat changes gone. Gone. No defensive boost. Nothing. You get nothing. Sandstorm buffets the Tatsugiri, and then poison should take it out. Turning this into a 2v1. This is, this is gonna be a close match. You bring out Flamigo, I don't mind that because then I could just go rock slide. And rage powder. That's not bad. So clear smog was huge on our end. It was huge. And it, honestly, if they just went after the T Tar there. Maybe they thought I was protect protecting, but if they just went after t -tar with, like, Wave Crash, they probably would have KO'd and just had a Moongus left. But now CoStar Flamigo comes out here with no stat changes. We love it. We love it. You got nothing. What do you got? You got nothing. Big time Clear Smog coming out there. But, yeah, Rage Powder going to be our best friend. We're going to do that, and then we're just going to send Rock Slide across the board here. Rock Slide across the board. And I forgot that thing is part fighting. It's a good Terror type for us, too. But Rock Slide not going to be super effective anymore. But there goes Brave Bird. He's going to take some recoil damage. We die out to that, which is not bad. We wanted to actually try to KO this Flamigo very soon. We're actually kind of right here. Because recoil damage is going to pop off here. Rock Slide connecting. It does connect on both. With Choice Band, KO in the Flamigo. So all we need to do is just soak up the shot and land another Rock Slide. That's it. And we get the flinch. We love it. We love it. So big time plays from us. Playing an odd team. Or not an odd team, a team that we've seen before, but played very oddly. And it wasn't looking too good for us until, you know, Clear Smog came out there and kind of changed the tides of the battle. But that was perfect for us. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Because we knew we were going to struggle with this. But our final Rock Slide lands. Don Dizzy goes home. Get him on out of here. And we start off things 2-0. Moving on to our final matchup for the day. And we're going up against straight meta. This team is meta. It screams meta. Every single Pokemon on it is meta. They got Raging Bolt, Incarnate Landers form. They also have Rollaboom and Cinnaroar. And then last but not least, Urshifu and Fluttermane. But what screams to me here is no weather control. So that means T-Tar, Extra Drill, 
Come on down. You guys, you guys get in lead here. I mean, actually, they're gonna intimidate us. Let's be honest. They're gonna intimidate us. You know what? Let's let's, let's scratch that. They're gonna intimidate us. So we could go Okie Dogie and you, or we could go Okie Dogie and Salamence, which is bad. I feel like they have to go into intimidate users, right? So you know what? I'm gonna go into both of these guys. I'm gonna go into Okie Dogie. I would love for him to intimidate me me here. Giving me the plus one boost on Okie Dogie would be huge. As much as I want to lead Titar Extral, if they intimidate Titar Extral, it kind of just ruins what we have going there. Minus one on both of them, I don't like that. I'd rather go into a special attacker that can Tailwind set up and intimidate. And on top of that, a guard dog ability user, which will actually give it a plus one boost instead. I was going to go Corviknight instead, but Corviknight doesn't have Tailwind. I'd rather get some speed on the squad as well. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm not too worried about what's it called. Incarnate, uh... Landers, considering we have so many flying types and flying terror types. T-Tar can terrestrialize the flying. We have Salamence on the squad. We also have Okie Dogie with the flying terror type. It'll be pretty nice for us. So we'll see who they want to lead. We have fingers crossed for Incineroar. Show me Incineroar. Intimidate me, please. Please. That's all I ask for. That's all I ask for. Just a nice little intimidate action. Let's see. Show me Incineroar. Come on, man. I want an Incineroar. I want an Incineroar. You're not going to bring me Incineroar. But at least we get to intimidate this Urshifu, which is pretty good. So I see Incarnate form right here. I am going to Terrasalize. And honestly, I'm just going to go for Drain Punch. Look to get back some HP. And I am just going to Tailwind up. Get a nice little Tailwind speed boost here. So Drain Punch can give us back some HP. Then we get to get the Tailwind up, out, and about. Um, he could be going for potentially a ground move into Okie Dogie because he is weak to ground. So... I think just by going Flying Terror, it's going to be pretty good for us. <clears throat> no Intimidate. That's weird. That's odd. I would have threw Intimidate right away. But, I mean, maybe they saw the Okie Dogie. It was just like, they might lead Okie Dogie. So, I understand. So, we Terrasalize turn one. <clears throat> we always like a nice little turn one Terra. <clears throat> we go flying. We bring out our wings, our balloons. Ready to go. All right. So, he's going to detect here. That's okay. That's okay. And what are you going for? Earth power? That That's fine. So, we basically win this turn because now we have Tailwind. Tailwind is here. I would have loved to have bulk up on this thing. I would have bulked up this turn. Oh, show. Oh, show I would have bulked up. Oh, show. All right. So, Landers might have Life Orb. I might want to knock that off. And honestly, it's going to be my buy. We're going to knock off whatever item it has here. And we're just going to go for an Air Slash in this slot. Nice, lovely air slash. As much as I want to go for Drain Punch, we can go for Drain Punch next turn. Because we know this thing's not choice anymore. We have speed for a couple of turns. And we can really get cooking. Yeah, if Lando's Life Orb, I'd love to just get rid of it. Because that Life Orb with Sheer Force, whoo! The power, too much. It's too much. So we have solid typing on the field right now. Let's be honest here. Solid typing up against what they have. He's just going to withdraw Urshifu. So Urshifu's going to get the withdraw. You're going to go into maybe Fluttermane, thinking we're going for Drain Punch again? No, Incineroar now comes out here, and you give me the plus one boost, which we love. You give me the plus one boost, which I love. And he just protects you. So now I'm sitting here, plus one. He can fake me out all day. Air Slash is then going to fly into you. That's totally fine, and Knock Off is going to get blocked. So he's probably going to fake out the Okie Dogie. I don't think that's that big of a deal. And now I could, if I want to, just bring out bring out you because really what's lander's gonna do here he's not gonna throw a ground move in this slot if i can have a tailwind turn with rockside ready to roll that's not bad that's not bad or we could just leave it let it be i mean they're not doing anything crazy to me hmm let's go before I'm, I'm kind of curious to see if this, if upper hand goes before fake out. I doubt it, but I'm gonna give it a try. But I'm gonna give it a try, and then we'll just air slash this. I doubt it, but I'm gonna give it a try. <clears throat> I'm just gonna give it a try. So they're gonna swap that. Go back in Urshifu, please. I would like that a lot because air slash flying in that slot. They do. It's huge. And upper hand is going to fail. Are you going for fake out? What are you going for here? You're not going for fake out. We should just attack. I don't know why you want to go for fake out there though. You're going to party shot at me. That's fine. That's fine. So you're going to draw my special attack. That's no big deal. 
and you're not you didn't go for fake out the turn that's so odd so now my okie dogie's plus one i wonder if upper hand actually beats out fake out such a cool move all right that's fine let's see they're gonna go back in the lane though no big deal they can protect they can detect here how many turns are left in tailwind one they probably double down with that so now wouldn't be a bad turn to swap but i'm kind of just sitting here wanting to do stuff i think you would detect you right i would i would think that i would think that I would think that. So we go for knockoff, we go for air slash here. I think they're just going to protect both. And if not, we actually get off some damage because knockoff flies across, being plus one. Um, air slash is going to fly, do that. And then we can just try to set up another tailwind. But this just swaps and all this stuff. It's going to intimidate me again? Uh, that's that's fine. That's fine. Hopefully you are. No, Fluttermane comes out here. Okay, that, that's fine. Now we know his all of his Pokemon. We get off an air slash onto the Fluttermane. Um... Chances are we probably can't pop a Tailwind now, because that's just a solid swap. But I mean, from here, then we can start attacking at this point, maybe trying to get rid of Fluttermane. Um, <clears throat> okay, Tailwind's gone. We're definitely going to try to get off Tailwind. And I think from here, maybe we just try to go for a Gunk Shot to finish that off, or do we just go for a Knock Off? I'm just going to go for a Gunk Shot. I'm going to try to finish off Fluttermane. And if I can get off a Tailwind, I'll try to go for a Tailwind. But Salamence pretty bulky with 210 HP. Or not 210, 201. That's a, that's a lot of HP. But our opponent's playing this one really well. Just protecting, swapping in and out. My Okie Dogie's still plus one. If I can land this gunk shot, we can say bye-bye to Fluttermane. Which would be massive. But they might Terrasalize Fluttermane. Maybe go for like a Dazzling Gleam Terra. No, we just goes for a Moonblast. That's so odd. That's very odd. Gets a special attack drop. That's fine, though. Sludge Bomb gonna fly. Are you just gonna KO Okie Dogie? No, Okie Dogie survives. I'm gonna get off another Tailwind. Thank you very much for the free Tailwind. Thank you very much. Gunk Shot lands as well. We love that. Bye-bye, Fluttermane. -bye, get on out of here. Get on out of here. So we get rid of you, um... And we get off another Tailwind. That's just big-time turns. That's just big-time turns. So now who are you gonna go into? Incineroar again? No, oh, Urshifu comes out here. I'm definitely going for upper hand. I can see you going for Aqua Jet. We're going for upper hand here. Aqua Jet, maybe swap you now? Into Titar? I like that. I like that. We're going to swap into Titar. I'm going to read that he's going for Aqua Jet here. We're going to swap Salamence. Save it for later. Intimidate him with great. Now I'm bring out Titar. If they KO Okie Dogi, we just bring out uh, Exedrill. He's just gonna detect. Okay, that's fine. I might just KO my Okie Dogie if you double protect. Yeah, I just KO my Okie Dogie. <laughs> Man! Can't pull off an upper hand today. Cannot pull off an upper hand today. But it's fine. Now we get to bring out lovely Tailwind users. Um. Not even Tailwind users, Sandstream users in the Tailwind, which is good. And I can choice my. I can choice my T Tar in the Rock Side, which is great. Because I would think they would, they might just swap into Incineroar here, which would probably be a, a decent play. But at the same time, we're throwing Choice Band Rock Slides around. I'm going for Iron Head into this slot. I'm going to go for Rock Slide across the board. I think Rock Slide will KO the Urshifu. And we'll see what he wants to do. Yo, we got Tailwind. We got Sand Rush going. I think both my Pokemon out speed. Actually, maybe not Titar. Titar's kind of slower. I think it's like 90-something speed. So it's at like 180 in the Tailwind. I don't know. I, I think it should. I think it should, to be honest. But I, again, I think they, they might swap into Intimidate. But we just KO'd our own Okie Dogie, who was actually kind of thriving pretty well. Getting rid of that Fluttermane was huge for us. It was really big. So, out comes the withdrawal of you. That's totally fine. Actually works in our favor. Because you're going to Intimidate us. But you're going to have to take this Choice Band Rock Slizzle. Which still might actually KO you. I would love for it to KO you. Iron Head's going to fly into this slot do amazing damage because it got a crit and we flinch it too that's massive rock side double connects bye bye lando incineroar down low on hp now and now i could just swap out i could just straight up swap what's it called swap exigel for an intimidate user might be my best bet might be my best bet so if you're gonna fake out who are you gonna fake out i do want to swap to intimidate user or do I just straight up attack? I think we use this speed here to kind of try to finish off this matchup here. We go for an EQ. 
think I just go high horsepower here and I just rock slide across the board. I mean, we have the damage and we have the speed right now and they just cancel battle. So everything works out perfectly. We go 3-0 and with this Sand Okie Dokie team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, 3-0, and rocking out with Titar, Exigil, and Okie Doge. We got the even use Salamence in today's video, Corviknight, and Amukas, who came in clutch in match number two. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.